Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to this channel. If you're new here, my name is Maggie. Today I'm going to go ahead and share with you a little repot. I had somebody comment um, on a previous video and ask if I could do a repot type of video. So I'm going to do that. I have done it in the past, except I didn't think that was a video that um, it, people responded really well to it, just based on views. Um, so I decided I'm going to go ahead and try it again since somebody suggested it. But if you ever have any suggestions for an upcoming video, I would love to hear from you. Um, so just leave it in the comments. Today I'm going to be basically repotting a lot of Hoyas, um, with the exception of this beautiful Pepper Romeo Frost. So um, I have one, two, three, four five plants to repot. So you guys ready? Alright, I think I'm going to repot this peperomia first and get it out of the way. Um, I am going to be reusing this same very pot, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and bring you guys down so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. Alright, so first I want to show you guys the type of potting mix that I use. Um, basically, I make this myself, but I use a local um, soil, but honestly, I'm sure you could get it just about anywhere. So I use a soil, and into it, I add some perlite. I do some orchid bark as well as charcoal, and it's just like a very airy type of mix. And I use this for my Hoyas, I use it for my philodendrons, um, my peperomias, my ivies, just about every single plant that I have in my house, I use this very same mix. Prior to using uh, this mix right here, I used to just do 50% perlite and 50% soil, and that was just like very kind of heavy, so I decided to mix it up a little bit and started using this. Um, and thus far, um, everything has been going real good. So this is exactly what I will be using. And the very first plant that I want to go ahead and start off with is this beautiful Hoya Public Calyx. Honestly, I don't remember when I actually purchased this. It has been such a long time, um, but I really like this. It's starting to get this nice splashing towards its newer leaves, which I really appreciate. Um, but this one dries out so, so fast, but it's also hanging in my kitchen, so um, I don't really get to it as often as I probably should, but that's how the roots look on it. And what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and disturb the roots just a little bit um, because I plan on keeping it in this 6 inch pot. I don't want to upsize it to an 8 inch pot because I feel like it's going to be way too big. Um, so honestly, I wouldn't have to repot this, but by choice, I want to. Um, and that's just to loosen up the roots just a little bit and add fresh soil. I'm sure some people would probably call me crazy for doing this, um, but this is my plant, and this is exactly what I'm choosing to do with it. And so yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. So I always add a little bit of soil towards the bottom and then I add the plant on top of that. And honestly, like I didn't disturb it that much. It's just a little bit. And then I'm just going to go ahead and then top it off at the top. Alright, so plant number one, Hoya Public Calyx, is finished. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and actually rinse this one underneath the shower today once I'm finished. So I'm going to hold off on watering. Um, but next up, I'm going to go ahead and share a really cute Hoya. And I think this is just about everyone's favorite. And this is the Hoya Methilde. It's so cute. It's dainty. It's very similar to Hoya Abovado, except on a smaller scale. This is my very first one right there. And then I just ended up getting this one as well. So I plan on putting it in this green little container and putting them together. This one's also starting to grow some new leaves so I'm hoping that's not going to mess up with it but it is what it is I want to repot it and place them together so I'm gonna try not to disturb the roots too much 
that look really really good when I got it it had barely any roots I got it from somebody from Facebook um, and I think it was from like Iowa or something like that and I asked if they had Hoya methildate and they did so I was able to get that one for $15 so I was excited about that all right and I'm gonna go ahead Sometimes if like the soil is really good um, from what I just took out from the pots, I'm going to go ahead and put the same soil back. Um, but I think today I'm going to use a little bit of this and also my some of my new mixture. Because you could kind of tell the difference between this soil right here. As you can see, it's like perlite and just like soil. And then if you compare it to the one that I use right now, it's a little bit more airy with more charcoal and more perlites and less soil. So that's the difference. And of course there is bigger chunks of orchid bark in here. So when I'm repotting for like smaller pots like this, I just make sure that I use smaller orchid uh, bark and leave um, behind the bigger ones for like bigger pots, like six inch pots and eight inch pots. Um, so yeah. All right, so there is our Hoya Mathilde all potted up, looking so cute and full now. I'm just hoping these new growths aren't going to fall off, but I don't think they will. All right, and on to the next pot. The next plant I want to repot is this Hoya Sigil Talus, or Sigil Talus. And I got this one first. It's really small, it's really cute. And then I just got this one as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and pot this up. This one is a little bit more sun stressed and has been getting more light, hence the color is a little bit more darker. Whereas this one's a little bit lighter, but I'm gonna go ahead and pot it up and then hopefully it's going to just get as dark as this one. This one right here, I've never actually seen the roots of it. I got it locally from a lady. And since I got it, I don't know, two months ago or so, it has produced two new leaves for me. Okay, that's what I thought. I thought it's going to have kind of small um, roots. All right, it looks like it has tiny, tiny little roots. Um, I'm not going to even bother with it. I'm just going to go ahead and stick them together, not disturb the roots uh, too much. And I'm just going to keep it in this 3 inch pot because both of them honestly have really small roots. And Hoyas like to be pot bound, root bound, <laughs> pot bound, root bound. So I'm going to go ahead and just keep them in a smaller pot and I could always repot them. But if they're root bound, they will go ahead and produce more leaves instead of focusing so much on their root system. So this hoya right here is a, a little bit uh, finicky at this time. Um, the roots are not as big as I suspected it to be on there, but that's okay. Um, something I want to share with you guys is this house plant. Uh, house plant systemic insect control that I use on all my plants and typically when I bring in a new plant I put this right away on top of the soil otherwise I also put it in my mixture when I make my own soil I add it to that otherwise periodically I'll go ahead and sprinkle some on top and this kind of keeps away like uh, aphids, mealybugs, thrips and things like that but the only thing that this doesn't keep away is um, fungus gnats, but fungus gnats are honestly easy to control. Other pests are so much worse. I'm gonna go ahead and just water it at this time just to kind of hold it down um, because like I said, the roots on this one are quite small. So I am a little bit nervous, um, but maybe I could do a little update on it and see how it goes from here. The next Hoya that I want to repot is this Hoya Bella. This is variegated. This is actually out of variegation. There's one that's in a variegation and I actually got it. And I got it from 
Facebook as well and it was a complete nightmare. I wish I never bought it. Um, after that plant has died on me, I said to myself that I will never um, buy anything off Facebook again and I didn't. And then I have this one as well so I'm going to go ahead and just pop these up together. Once again, I think this one I got locally but I'm hoping that uh, the roots on it are not as small as the sigil talus was. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and put some on the bottom and it's just looking like that. Alright, let's go ahead and look at this root system together. Once again, I've never seen these roots. And okay, these are quite tiny too. I'm not sure if you guys could see that, that over there. They're quite small. I'm going to try not to mess too much with them. I'm going to just put it here briefly and I'm going to go ahead and take these out now. And this is currently giving me some new growth so I am so excited about that. But this is just a stunning little Hoya. The thing about this Hoya that it is finicky. Um, so compared to other Hoyas, this one's like a little bit of a nightmare. <laughs> so either it's going to succeed for you or it's not. And the inner variegation that I told you guys that I had before didn't do so hot for me. But um, it was in the mail. It was cold. Um, it came with barely any roots. It looked like she probably water propagated it. Um, so... Yeah, that's basically why I think it just didn't su succeed for me. I prefer to get plants that already have experience in soil instead of getting water propagations or um, plants that have um, no roots like cuttings. That's just not my forte. But yeah, I think it's going to look really good all together. Now whenever I get the soil into the pot, I like to press it down so the roots are kind of stabilized in there. Um, I'm sure this Hoya is going to move around just a little bit with um, the light that I give it, but for now it looks a little bit funky, <laughs> but that's okay. I just hope it thrives. That's all I wanted to do. I just wanted to thrive. Fingers crossed, guys. Wish me luck. All right, there we have a Hoya Bella Variegata all potted up looking a little bit limp <laughs> but that's okay I'm gonna go ahead and just give it a little bit water um, and I'm sure it'll bounce back rather quickly there we go and then uh, this soil right here I could reuse it um, and then just put this pest control in it just in case or what I do is just I take it outside put it in my garden bed or put it in my grass because why not so uh, there's uh, that plant and we have one more. All right, so the very last plant that we have on the agenda is this Peperomia frost. I always go ahead and check the bottom of the leaves, the top of the leaves, but this Hoya has been doing really good lately. Um, but for some reason, it's just, I don't have another four inch pot, so I'm gonna use this one. But for some reason, it just dries up so 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 quick on me so I'm gonna just go ahead and pull apart some of the soil just like I did on the Pobla Calyx and then just add my soil to it um, the roots on this are quite fine I don't know if you guys could see that but yeah the roots on that are quite fine but hopefully with a little bit of my soil it's not going to dry up as fast, but then I'm going to be able to water it more often since it is airy. So, I don't know if that makes sense. But basically it's a win-win for me and the plants. Back into the pots. And you can actually see how much I paid for it. $9. I don't know if you guys could see that. $9. <laughs> I thought it was a good, good deal. And it's a, such a cute little peperomia. Um, honestly, next to like Hoyas, I would love to collect peperomias. 
but my heart isn't in them as much as Hoya's. And philodendrons are pretty cool too. But pepperomials are pretty neat. I remember some time ago I thought this was like kind of like a grandma plant. Um, but then I got like a couple of them and then just started growing on me. And now I would love to get the Peperomia pink, pink marble or something like that. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of them that are quite unique. Many of them have like the same look, just different colors. But then you also have like Peperomia beetle, Peperol, uh, watermelon Peperomia, Peperomia prostrata, Peperomia ruby cascade. So there's just like so many varieties and then there's just like varieties like this but in a different color. So uh, that is the beautiful Peperomia frost. Also something I want to share with you guys is I use this Miracle Grow Orchid Spray and you know it's made for orchids but honestly I use it on my Hoyas and since I started using it I actually feel like I could tell a difference that my Hoyas are starting to grow more. Um, so take it or leave it but that's what I use um, and yeah so this is amazing this is amazing I highly recommend it try it out um, but if you guys have any other suggestions for pest control let me know but I found this to be amazing never have any issues the only issue that I have is fungus gnats but that's really easy to combat um, and then spider mites um, sometimes I've dealt with it like maybe twice since having plants, so it's honestly not that bad. It's only when I forget to dust off the leaves or spray them. But that is going to be the video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this cute little repot. Honestly, I don't know what I was doing. I don't really have a conversation for these uh, repots. Maybe I will in the future, but these are my cute little plants for today. I'm going to go ahead and log off there. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share it with a friend. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys!